Hello and welcome to the HGC. It's come to my attention that a lot of you have been having trouble with the update 3.11 for the PS4s well, and for that matter the PS3s. Uh, let me show you how to take care of that real quick, okay? Okay, so you're having trouble updating to 3.11. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is because when you started the update, unfortunately you clicked the wrong buttons. Uh, and it's asking for the installation update. Most of you are going to go on here and they're going to click this and they're going to download the update. This is not the one you need. This is the one you need. The install update. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click that and it'll send you a little bit further down the page alright and you're gonna need to have a USB large enough to handle the update and then inside that USB you're gonna need to make a folder for PS4 and another folder for update and then you're gonna click download the update so what we're gonna do is we're going to open up my USB now I already have this set up it's preferable not to have any other files or folders in it this is for an Xbox this is for PS3 this one is PS4. I deleted the update out of it just so you can see. Okay, you have a folder inside it says update, and then that one's empty so that you can actually see it get installed. Okay, so let's move that across. We're going to click download the update, and we're going to save it to that folder. And we're going to go down to. Well, I'm already here. Okay, so let's just change this here. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to uh, computer. What is going on? Uh, documents, pictures. Oh, sorry. There we go. Computer. We're going to go to my F drive, which is the removable USB that you've seen. And then we're going to open the PS4 folder. We're going to open the update folder and save it in there. Okay. What you're going to see is an unconfirmed download 833915. At least it should be them numbers. If it's not, just go ahead and let it download. Uh, it may have gave you a even newer update than the 311, depending on when you're watching this. And that's perfectly fine, so long as it's 311 or above. All right. It'll take a considerable amount of time for you to finish the update. It's 790 megabytes, and it, depending on your download speed, it'll take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to 10 minutes like mine. So I'm going to pause this. We'll be back in a moment. Okay. Um, started this back up. Got a few more minutes left, but I wanted to talk to you. Unfortunately for you, because you selected the wrong button, you just lost all of your information. Hopefully you have everything backed up on the cloud. All your game saves, downloads, gone. It's going to wipe out everything and start you from scratch. If you purchased any games online, don't worry. You could re-download them for free, but you did lose all your game saves and anything that's not backed up on the main hard drive. Okay, so let's let this finish up. Once this is done, then you're going to remove the USB and install it into the PlayStation and follow its directions. You'll get two load bars and then it'll ask you for to press the PlayStation button and all of that good stuff and complete the update and your box will start up like as if you just bought it out of the box and you'll have to 
set your date and time and all that other good stuff. So again, unfortunately you lost everything, but it's better to be able to play it and lose everything than not to be able to play it at all, right? So uh, whenever you get an update, pay very, very close attention to what buttons you're pressing. Sometimes they will ask for an installation update. You don't want the installation update, you want the update. All right. So if you accidentally press the reinstall or install update, then it's going to give you the install update, which wipes out everything. It formats your hard drive, that's why you wind up getting stuck in it, and it asks you for the update over and over and over and over again, because it's not an install update that you are trying to put in, and that's what you told the system you wanted to put in. And unfortunately, once you start it that way, there's no going back. Okay, so we've got about six minutes left. I'm going to pause this for a little bit, and then we'll come back uh, once it's done, just to let you see what it looks like. Okay, we got a couple of seconds left, so I'm going to let you just finish this. Now again, well, let's, let's just let this finish up and then we'll kind of backtrack a little bit in this folder. Talk about it one more time. Almost there. Seven sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. And we're done. Now watch this. It's going to change a little bit. There we go. That's what it should look like. Okay, so this is done. We no longer need that anymore. And let me pull that other one back up. There we go. Okay. So, your USB will not have these two folders in it. You'll only have the PS4 folder. And then inside that folder, you'll have a folder called Update. And it needs to be all caps, just like that. And then inside that is where you will save this. Don't forget to click on the computer and safely remove your USB. Otherwise it can corrupt this and not allow it to update. Okay? So I'm going to pause this and I'll take another shot of ejecting the USB. Okay, so this is how you're going to eject your USB. You're going to go down here where it says show hidden icons. Click on your USB where it says safely remove the USB. And then find the USB. Click on it and it'll say safe to remove hardware and then you can unplug your USB. Once you get your update on your USB, it is as simple as going in, plugging it into the PS4, plug your Bioshock controller in via USB. You have to have the USB to plug your controller in, and then follow the steps from that point. And unfortunately, one last time, you did lose all your information. There is absolutely no way around it. Okay, if you bought something online, you can re-download that stuff for free. But uh, yeah, pay really, really close attention whenever it asks for an update that you do not click an installation update. Okay, that you want only an update. Usually, sometimes there's two options, not just one, and and you won't even recognize it. You click that button, <laughs> it's all over with, guys. All right, so. Uh, stay safe. Always read what the updates ask you to do. 
very carefully otherwise you may lose your information now to prevent you from losing information I highly recommend getting an external hard drive keep all of your game saves and all of your games that you're saving on it that way if for some reason you lose your OS which is on the hard drive inside the PlayStation 4 by something like this then at least you don't have to worry about downloading everything all over again <laughs> okay stay safe happy gaming everybody